the earth is not stable here and it's like moving too fast and I feel sick. Okay. okay. The guy in TikTok that like he watches somebody make something and then he goes, "What are you doing?" I cut it out to spare you, but right here is where we sat and watched a TikTok for like five minutes. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so let's jump right in. Let's dive right in. <laughs> Seven TikTok videos later. <laughs> I know that could have gone on really long if I said, "Oh, then have you seen this one?" Oh. Um, it's amazing it didn't. It's amazing it didn't go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> well, it was kind of funny that like I showed you who he was just so you could be like, oh yeah, I've seen him before. And so you were like, <laughs> everybody's so creative. <laughs> oh my God, we were somewhere, we were walking through a store and it said something like everybody's creative corner or something like that. So of course out loud I go, everybody's so creative. <laughs> <laughs> looks like, you, you see how it looks like we wasn't supposed to do that? <laughs> but we did. <laughs> but we did. <laughs> my brother's calling me. What does he want? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hi. And right here, I cut out a conversation that Amy had with her brother on the phone about his dog being sick. Next week's episode is in South Carolina, and it's called Killer Smile. I love South Carolina. Okay, so That's I want to talk about to. next week's episode. That's the one where I had, I have been in contact with the sketch artist. Uh, no, no. With the client. Mm. Oh, okay. Her name's Tracy. Okay. Yep. With an I. Yep. And I've been in contact with her and we were, she was all set to do an interview and she, like, she is unable to do the interview because she is so sick. Really? And it's from that. Wow. That's so really too bad. It's real bad. Mm -hmm. Real bad. She was really excited. She really wanted to be on. Mm -hmm. The last thing she said to me in a message was, I have... I have refound my faith and I'm working with a Catholic priest on an exorcism. That's um, the last thing she told me. Wow. If the whatever it was found out, that could be really bad. She thinks that um, that they started to get help and that's what pissed it off. Mm-hmm. And then it because it never it done. wasn't finished and so Yeah, mm-hmm. so that's gonna be an interesting one. I wonder if it is demonic or evil because yeah. usually that's the only time that it acts up as Adam. well. I'm also yeah. really intrigued because the Catholic Church does not like to do exorcisms. No. They like to go through every avenue, mm-hmm. even though that's not quite how it was throughout history with different mm-hmm. things. But they like to go through everything to say that it, it, it can't be it that. It can't be yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Which on the one hand is good because yeah. they're not I exercising mean, sure. someone with mm-hmm. you know schizophrenia or something. Right. But, right. Mm-hmm. Well, and also. I'm sure priests don't exactly enjoy doing exorcisms well, and they because have they to go be, really bad. You have to be a uh, Yep. Yeah. I mean, it's, I watch Constantine, and they look really tough. I watched Evil. Did you guys watch Evil on CBS? No. Yes. Oh, so good. Yeah. Is it scary? I haven't been. Oh, you, so yeah. scary. Okay. No. Yeah, you probably watched. I actually had nightmares did it, from the first that episode. Over, the thing over is her <laughs> bed. Yes. That, mm-hmm. And did it that flip over to, was it Netflix? It went somewhere, uh, but I never. I didn't watch the second season. I didn't either because it went to something I couldn't watch it on anymore. Yeah, be fine. it went to Paramount, Paramount Plus. Plus. Yeah. Oh, I won't watch that because that was CBS Plus. No, that's scary. Really good, but yeah, it was. I definitely had okay. Bad if you had yeah, bad dreams, yeah. then I would. That's. I was actually surprised that that was on network. TV I was too. I'm like, am I? What? It, like, <laughs> is this CBS? Is this on oh, like the, the guy? The guy is so fucking creepy. The, Which guy? The bad guy. The oh, yeah, yeah. old guy. Yeah. Yep, he's the one from Lost. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can't remember the actor's name. He's in another show too. Mm-hmm. Point of no return. Point something. Anyway. Point blank. Point. His name is Michael Emerson, and the show I was trying to remember is called Person of Interest. This is why I say he's yelling at us right now. <laughs> Okay, so this episode that we're talking about yes. now it is not evil. It is well, it's evil. 
There might be evil, evil, but it's not called Evil, and it is not the one that's on next week. It is called Head Games. It is season fifteen, of course, episode four. Mm-hmm. It's in Orlando, Florida, but it's actually in like a little neighborhood or a little smaller area. Yeah. Oh, in, and I said you Orlando. how to say it because I well, most yeah, we for did. me. I, I knew how to say it. I just didn't remember how to spell ah, it. Akoe. What is ah, Akoe? Akoe. Akoe. O c o e e. Yeah. Akoe. Yeah. Okay. So we're doing this one a little different this time. We are not uh, going to recap it moment for moment. You're welcome. <laughs> we are just. I asked uh, these guys and I to just jot it down or thought up the top moments, things that we thought were cool or interesting or scary or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then um, any questions that we think of for the client, because we were thinking that we might try to do an interview. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not so sure. Yeah. Um, any sound bites that they, they liked? And then is there anything else that we wanted to dig into as far as facty stuff that Amy could look up? Mm-hmm. Anything more about the crimes and stuff like that? So that's what we mm-hmm. did. And I actually wrote it on paper with a Me pen too. and sent it in. I did not. I yeah. I um. I don't usually do that, but I had this whole notebook and I want to use it for something. So. Oh, there is trigger warning of murder suicide. Yep. Yeah. And racism. racism. Yeah. Oh. KKK. KKK yeah. crimes uh, against right. people of color. Yep. Violent crimes against people yeah. of color. It yeah. was bad. It's bad. It's real bad. It actually, when I was watching it, I went, oh, like, I literally gasped yeah. and my jaw dropped. I mean, and because... I was like, oh, and then they're going to do this to him and then they're going to do this to him. Mm-hmm. And they did. I yeah. Mean, I knew it, but I still got like. Oh. The sad part is it wasn't that long ago. I know. Uh, the sadder part is that it's. Still, still happening, happening. I know. Mm-hmm. like they're talking about it, and I was like, "This could have been this yesterday, could have been last year. Yeah. yeah, this could have been." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's real sad. It is twenty twenty three, and we're still. My friend's friend got messaged today on on Facebook because he's gay, and they called him a fucking pedophile, and they called. They said they hope he dies, uh, and they called him the f word, and they said he preys on children, p r a y on children. And so he prays for their soul. Yeah. (laughs) And this guy is like his whole job is like car seat safety and making sure that their um, car seats are installed correctly for children. So it's literally trying to save their life. So, yeah. But because he's gay, he's obviously the P word. That's ridiculous. The hatred in this country is. I know. Sad. It's, it's not just this country, but, no. but it's you would think that we would be advanced enough to not be dealing with this shit, but... I yeah. hear we are. Just, if, it's always, like, flummoxed to me on how we can have such guttural reactions to something that has nothing to do with our mm-hmm. lives. It yeah. doesn't, yeah. doesn't touch our lives, right. doesn't do anything to us, but right. there are people... Who are so angry right. because someone has more melanin in their skin. Yeah. I'm freaking transparent in the winter. <laughs> right. I'm just jealous. I or get sunburned in like, the winter. Who people <laughs> love. And it's yes. Like, yes. It doesn't affect you. No. Who no. cares? What do you do with you? Personally, well, I don't care for any, like, lots of PDA in any shows no. that I watch. But I know that's going to be there. Yeah. So you just... I don't, it, it doesn't bother me one way or the other. I'm just, just like, bothers you as a whole. Yeah. It's just like, can we just go on with the right, plot line? Right. What is with this romance? <laughs> right. I don't mind the romance. Romance the, is dead. The, the like soft porn stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. If I wanted to watch that, there's shows I could choose that. Yeah. Or like that. internet sites. But, uh, yeah. Can we well, get just... on to who killed who, please? <laughs> exactly. Like, why are we not focused on this? <laughs> yeah. I know we joke, we're joking and that kind of stuff, but it's, I, I don't know how to handle some, yeah. some of that. Weed. It's awful. Weed. Or drinking. Gummies. Gummies. I'm where, out of where's gummies. My, where's uh, my Snoop Dogg? I'm yeah. out of gummies. I'm really upset about it. I don't know. From six, it's just, seven, just six buy the gummies from someone who knows what they're doing. That hey, sense. I could know what I'm doing. You could, but, but you don't, don't know ready. And that means I thought you'd have to take up that hobby and you'd have to stick with it. Am I right? Hey, I have stuck with jewelry for like (laughs) five years. Yeah, but you change the kind of jewelry every five minutes. That's (laughs) true. You're the one that brought that up when we were interviewing with Annie. You're the one that said that. You're like, first I was into earrings and then I was into resin. And then I was into First I was into beads and then I was into resin and then I was into clay. And now I'm I'm still into clay. Okay, good. 
Aren't you glad you guys are here today? Anyways. <laughs> this is what it's like to go to happy hour with us. Yeah, so we still haven't really gotten to the no. show. Nope. Let's dive so, in. So, okay, let's dive in. Let's jump right in. Okay, so <laughs> some top moments. <laughs> We're freaking out. <laughs> you guys have been over here for Everybody's turned us off by now. There's nobody <laughs> listening okay. anymore. That's okay. Um, all right, so... I put for my time moments, um, just the gremlin thing yeah. mm-hmm. that is fucking with both both of the women. And Amy says it used to be human. It's mm-hmm. not yeah. anymore. That, I wish they would have gone into more, like... There was so much stuff that was vague in this episode, yes. and there was no resolution yes. to a lot of stuff. And yes. that I am so frustrated by. Mm-hmm. Sorry. I'm no, it's, I agree. There was a lot of stuff that they brought up that they never talked about Never later. talked about. And then there was stuff in the reveal that, that they didn't talk about before. And my guess is, like we always say, they probably did... And some Yahoo just left it on the cutting room floor. Mm-hmm. Yep. Someone tripped over it. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably what happened. I would like to see the full nine hour episode, mm-hmm. please. Yeah. Can we get the but, uncut version? Yeah. Thanks. That's what I would like. The dead files. Uncut. Yeah. <laughs> Almost as long as our episodes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and with probably just as much bullshit. Probably. <laughs> I will say when they when they first when he Steve first sat down with Jennifer, though. Did anybody else notice how close they were sitting? Yeah. Those chairs, their legs were interwoven. Yeah. Like, they that. were so close together. I was like, okay, obviously they had to stage They had to stage the room, I'm guessing. And it's a room, we find out later in the small. episode, yeah. that the house was built probably in about 1987, 1988, based 86. off of what, well, I think they started developing the land, but... Oh, okay. I, they might have said that right. the house was built there, but it was the land was purchased in 85. Yeah, mm-hmm. I wrote it down. Yeah, um, and then the house might have been built 86, 87, somewhere in there. Yep, house is in 86. Yeah. Um, but it's like, so, you know, style, stylistically, there was a lot of narrow right. space it looked like, but I was like... Yeah. Why aren't, we sitting, why aren't we sitting at a table or something, or why are we yeah. sitting... Like, it was literally, like, Megan and I this close. Like, our yeah, knee, their knees were interlocked. I didn't notice that. Um, well, I just kept writing down a lot of notes. I thought that was um, that was really just how close they were sitting. But then um, before that, with Amy opening, did anybody catch, and maybe I haven't seen this before, but they put Amy Allen medium? Yep. Yes. And yeah, then they put and they put Steve Deshavi. Yeah, retired. Retire, yeah, yeah, and I'm like, don't they that they cover that in the yeah, opening? Yeah. I'd never seen and that before. That's no, that's why I was too. really confused. I'm like, did I just miss this in previous? No. <laughs> for 15 or 14. Every seasons. like, did I just get used to it and not notice it? No, but, I've never seen it before. You know what I think? It's probably because there's going to be new people coming on because of Cindy. Mm-hmm. And so the yeah. Cindy fans are coming in and they want to like. No, it could be they don't want people to watch and go. That doesn't look like Cindy Casa. Right. You know. But yeah, that that was something. And just Amy being her, um, the earth is not stable here. Yeah. The land mm-hmm. here is all about death. Everyone's mm-hmm. dying, yep. which we never get any resolution to that comment nope. as to like, what does that mean? But what was she holding in her hand? Like she had a little like black something when she was out in the yard and she had, Excuse me, she had, like, muck boots on. Yeah, yeah she so did. The water, it, the ground must have been damp. Yeah. I wonder if she was well, holding some sort of recording device. That, that's what I was wondering. It could have been, it could have been, it could have been, like, a thing of crystals or right. something. Right, yeah. Too. It could have been, yeah. It was, I did notice that she had her purse. She usually does have a purse with her. And then she had her book and her pen. Right. Mm-hmm. But I don't think that that was her pen. I no. Think that was some it was a big, like, a black yeah. rectangular yep. thing. I wonder, yeah, maybe it was, maybe it was one of, like, her, my... Mm-hmm. My mm-hmm. or something. Who knows? Yeah. But yeah, that was. I did notice those shoes or those boots, and I thought. And you remember when she got out there and she said the the ground is unstable and it's and she felt like it was. She felt like very it was wet and like it was almost yeah. sucking her in, kind yeah. of. And she said she had a lot of vertigo from. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, so maybe that's why she put the boots on because yeah. her others. I don't. Well, know. I I'm guessing at least with the boots it was more of a practicality because mm-hmm. she had very loose flowy pants yeah. Yeah. and. Even very if it's slight, very slightly damp, you're going to step all over yeah. it. So yeah. that would be my... Interesting that um, there were so many murder-suicides yes. in the area. Four. You know, no, three. Yeah, Two three, in history. Three. The one in the history where the girl got, ran away and he fucking chased her down. Mm-hmm. That just happened in... Um, I, it was kind of up north a little bit, um, near like maybe Rush City, but a girl 
and a man were have a woman and a man were having a dispute. The woman was fifty seven. The man was like thirty six or something. She walked away from him. They were arguing. She walked away. He mm-hmm. got in his car, ran her over, and mm-hmm. killed her. It's Holy like this. Shit. It's like the same thing. Oh my god! And then yeah. this other guy like fled up to to New yeah. Jersey. Yeah. And then came and back. Then came back. What? And then killed himself. And then killed himself. Mm-hmm. But he would killed himself in Georgia, didn't he? He wasn't in Florida. Yeah, it was, yeah. A, yeah, it was yeah. in a gas station. I, yeah. Yeah. I mean, true, if you're looking for information and we don't know how big of a space that they're looking for true. and things are happening over a mm-hmm. hundred years or so, of course, if you're looking specifically for something, you're going to find gonna it, find right? It. I, but yes. I will say, though, that I was being a Snoopy McSnoopersons. And I tried to find the grandparents who mm, yeah, died yeah. murder suicide. So I knew their names were Kathy and David. David. Yep. And so and I knew they were from O C O Akoe. 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 Nailed it. And so <laughs> so I both used Google and um, newspapers.com and I put those all those mm-hmm. search terms in. And I couldn't find anything. Really? I put in murder suicide, mm-hmm. and I put. She said it happened three years ago. Mm-hmm. So I figured, let's say this happened. This was filmed last year, so mm-hmm. two thousand twenty-two. So I went like two thousand eighteen to twenty twenty-two, and I found three or four okay. more murder suicides mm-hmm. that were in that time frame. Mm-hmm. Wow! That were in that area. Yeah. Yeah, and none wow. of them were these people. Wow. Yeah. Well, and one of them was even an elderly couple too. Well, and that was, that might tie into, Amy said she came across an elderly woman, and throughout everything, we're assuming that it's the grandmother, but at the reveal, she said, it's not, I know she's not, she's not tied to these houses, Mm -hmm. but she's she's very confused, and not this house, yeah, and that ticks me off, like, can you, like, don't cause, not just us, but Paige and Jennifer to sit there thinking it's her. And then, you know, especially Paige, she found that Which we didn't I find know. out to the reveal. To the reveal. Didn't say that in the beginning. And then Paige said, well, I would love to get therapy, which makes me think that Jennifer hasn't let her get therapy. Okay, we but, have thoughts but on But Jennifer. Paige is 30 as yeah, well. Sure, so, 30. Oh, she's 30. Yeah, sure. I know. Yeah, but there's... Maybe she can't I, afford it. I mean, she's living with her mom. Well, well, I think her mom is living with her. Yes. I think Paige got oh, the house. I think the, the house I was think, left to her. I think, because yeah. Because Paige... Paige lives in the main Ma- bedroom. Yep, in the master Ooh, bedroom. Mom lives in the side and bedroom. And mom made a point to say, we are her sole support. Yes. And like I said to Amy, I, I could hear her eyes weird. rolling. Paige's eyes rolling. She I could hear like, my mom's eyes rolling. Yeah. I, was I like, thought that was weird. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, I don't believe a word out of Jeff. I really struggle. With... I was kind of on board with her until the reveal. I was. I was on board with her and until then she I looked got... at Paige and I realized that Paige was like, this is bullshit. This is all bullshit. All this. I want my daughter to be. I will there support was, my okay, daughter there, until her my dying. There breath. were terms and, and things. And Paige is like right. There were terms and things like my mom. I love watching this with her last night, and then we talked about it on a walk today, and she's like, you know, just got to me that there were certain words that people don't use in an everyday like. She kept using. I think I'm influenced. Mm-hmm. I think they were influenced. Mm-hmm. I thought like that was... it was you had researched episodes yes. of the show, yes. and then both her and Paige used malice. Mm-hmm. Malice mm-hmm. is not a common no. word. Most people would use. I mean, it's a like word we know very bad, well, but you would use not in everyday conversation. Yeah, yeah you yeah. would say you might say malicious, right. but you might say it's just something feels evil, right, mm-hmm. or bad, but, or not right, or yeah, and it was. I, this is one thing that I was like, I, it would be really interesting if we cut it back to back because you hear Jennifer talking about depression, paranoia, and these kinds of things. And then Amy says the exact same phrasing. Mm-hmm. And like, I'm not saying that Amy or anybody copied those words, but it's those are terms that are, are used throughout. It was just very interesting the way that it progressed there. <laughs> it was almost like Jennifer just wanted to be famous. But she just yep. wanted to be on the <laughs> yep, show. Yes, that is exactly. I asked my mom this morning. Paige, I said, well, I believe. Yes. Paige, I feel yep. like she's very tormented, especially given the fact that she found her grandparents, whom I gathered she was very close with. Well, and yes. that's some of the things my Thank you. like yeah. my mom and I talked about too. Is was 
did Paige's grandparents raise her? Probably. Potentially. Yeah. I hadn't thought of that yet, but you, but you said that. But just because like, there is that weird dynamic, um, there was so much vague. There was, well, my daughter's grandparents. Yes. Mm-hmm. We never hear about her, her dad. dad. Right. So mm-hmm. we don't know, was it a good relationship? Was it a poor relationship? You know, anything that mm-hmm. happened... She never called them her in-laws, but Steve kept calling them her in-laws. Mm-hmm. But at the reveal, then this is this is one of those icky feelings I got. I was just kind of like, Ugh. when I heard it, it was, well, I know they're still here because I hear her voice yes. giving me words of encouragement. Yeah. And he came up behind me and gave me a hug. Me. And but earlier, all she said that we saw of the of the footage was the gray man mm-hmm. and the horrible things that he's saying that's giving her paranoia yes, and, and influencing her. her thoughts. And it, it just, it that's wasn't cut. Thing. And maybe it was just, maybe it's just the maybe episode was just wasn't cut weirdly. well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And, and that we lost some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That would have, it would have sure changed it. it. Oh yeah. I don't think that's all of it. And I, I, thought it was, I thought it was interesting that Jennifer used the phrase jumped. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because I Amy would never, ever say that. Well, that. we might now because we watched the show. Right. And she probably is a fan of the show. Yes. I yes. just, I, I don't know that kind of, when she said that, I was like, yeah. Most people wouldn't say that. They'd say like, That's true. something came over me. Or but I assume me, that everybody but... who is a client on the Dead Files watches the show. Yeah, that's know true. Call them. Yeah, so that's true. They, they learn. The, yeah, you learn the some of the lingo you pick true, up. But yeah. I, yeah, I did find it like. Is she Amy right now? The way that she's yeah. talking? Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was weird that I found so many that were not these people. Yeah. None of the people that they talked about. Yeah. Well, and that was weird because I try, I did try to look up some, like, like about her dad or anything. And I, of course, not knowing the last name right. is very, that does make it a little bit more difficult. Mm-hmm. But I couldn't find, you know, was he in the military? Was he mm-hmm. something? Obviously, she had a good relationship. But it felt like she and mom just recently came back right. into... Each contact yeah. and so we we yeah. hear in the reveal that grandparents got the house in 2017 yes so they weren't there for oh, very long right and then yeah they just bought it in 2017 didn't share the, and then the, if they the if it was three years ago then they had only had the house for two years before they yeah. died. exactly yeah. Yeah. And, well so. and there was a time when Amy was in that bedroom and said, I feel like the person who's here, the living that's here, wanted to be haunted. Yes. And she grabbed onto this gremlin thing. Uh-huh. Oh, I missed that. Yeah. Oh so my. she's sitting there and I was like, okay, she's going to talk about this at the reveal so that we get an understanding. And I'm like, nope. Nope. So, but I could, I could understand that, especially if that was, and Amy put her, put words in Paige's mouth at the end. Oh, did she? Because Paige was like, I, I miss my grandma. Mm-hmm. And she goes, yeah, and you want your mom. You want your mom. Yeah. You want yeah. your mom. And that's when, and that's when, um, like, I Paige was like, uh, yeah. mm-hmm. sure. Yep. And I was like, okay, there's something there's that you're history. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And so that was, I think that I can understand that desire and want to know that those people that you love so much are there mm-hmm. and are taking care of you because they took care of you in life. And especially because she's the one who found them. And it mm-hmm. obviously yeah. sounds like she hasn't gotten any therapy. Right. So right. maybe not that they haven't, they're not, you know, helping her get it, but maybe just not being supportive of like, well, you don't need it. Why would you need that? Right. That's you know? kind of my thought, it, you know, yeah. it's, it's, or they like are very disdainful of it yeah. and, you know, if she's even went, they they might have mocked her for it yeah. to the point where she didn't want to go anymore. Yeah. Because it wasn't, it was what was she, brought up by Amy and that it's not brought up right. in the four weeks later, which mm-hmm. I feel like if you were really excited about getting that relationship back with your daughter, you'd you say, that up. we, you know, we're calling a therapist in the morning and we're going to get started. Or right we, away. even though it took us a little bit of time to get this thing out of here, now we started the conversations already yeah. or something. Yeah. Just, I just, Jennifer felt very disingenuous yeah. and fake. Yeah. Paige, I believe yeah. Paige is yes. very traumatized. Yeah. And she even, I mean, the fact that she said, I would love that. I want therapy. I've been wanting therapy. And then like her I mom looked therapy, at her, she said. like they cut to her mom looking at her, like kind of side eyeing her a little bit. 
It's probably Scientology. I, I noticed oh, two things movies. about them as well was Jennifer's eyes were constantly I did a screenshot where moving. She's like, yeah, and in the reveal, in the reveal, her hair parted, kept changing. Oh, that oh. I need to go back and look at. Yeah, because my my mom's like, look at that. Her her part changed. And it's literally in when she's telling a story, and it's like it's on this side, and then it's on this side, but it's it's well right combed right. down. Yeah. So obviously it's how different they were, takes. yeah, they different takes. Different and then, um, but what I did notice, and I think this goes to the the thought with Paige. Again, just speculation. This is all she speculation. she wouldn't she couldn't look Steve in the eye. Oh. Paige. Yeah, she couldn't uh, really she, look anybody. She in the eye. and she almost had this defeatist look. But then Amy also said, like, there's so much negative energy in that room. Ooh. Really negative energy. Very negative. She probably needs to like completely strip out the carpet and yeah. paint everything and because just. Because they were found in her bedroom. In her like what is yeah closet. what is yeah what is now her closet and uh, was was probably their closet. Yeah. And so I'm sure the that part of it has been obviously professionally cleaned at least, but mm-hmm. yeah. you would think that. But I noticed the camera like zoomed in on the carpet, and I'm like, I know. Hey, guys, can we stop? On the right. Yeah, but, yeah, that was weird. Yeah. Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, how about the sinkhole? When uh, in the reveal, when mm-hmm. Paige, yeah. when they're talking, to Amy's talking, and we about got a how, nice drone shot. Uh, yeah. Of the ponds. <laughs> yeah. And uh, but how. Amy was talking about, um, you know, you might feel dizzy or whatever. Not about the sinkhole. She was just like, you know, yeah, the land. The land. Yep. you might feel dizzy or um, or um, uneasy or, you know. And then uh, I know this isn't. The, but and then, then Jennifer's like, I stumble around like I'm drunk. And I'm like, isn't that convenient? Yeah, like, you boozing? She, you boozing? No, no, she doesn't drink. No, she doesn't drink. Just like <laughs> Harry from Annie's episode. <laughs> I don't and drink. then he said that the whole family started laughing. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so then when Paige goes, oh, yeah, we kind of knew, we kind of came to expect that when we moved in because of the sinkhole. And Amy's like, the what? what? Yeah, I know. <laughs> they warned us that would happen when we moved in here because of the massive sinkhole. What? Yeah, there's a massive sinkhole at the bottom of the street. Amy was like, huh? She did the aruga. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then they didn't really talk about that. Anymore. No. But so we then got a nice I, drone shot of the pond. Yeah, 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 they did. And she's like, well, it's just a pond now. And like, yep. well, for now, until it sinks again and Amy's it takes like, the whole neighborhood yeah, with it. Yeah. But when AP was looking for something to look up and she said, I, I could look up sinkholes. And I was like, yeah, look up like. Why, I've never heard of a sinkhole nearby, mm-hmm. meaning that you're going to get dizzy or mm-hmm. equilibrium is going to be off or anything like that. So maybe it's yeah. only tied to that land. So yeah, I couldn't find hardly anything, and I looked under a couple of different things. So if anybody knows more, please let us know. Um, but sinkholes, of course, I taught science and I taught geology, so. I know it's minuscule about this, but sinkholes that tend to form in areas where you have a lot of limestone. Limestone is a um, sedimentary rock, so it has a lot of carbonate. So that's, you know, your ocean floor type Isn't stuff. Isn't that too. what pumice is made out of? Or is that pumice a rock? Pumice is a rock, but I don't oh, know. No, it, it, isn't it part of lava? I don't know. There's, there's, What's pumice made out of? I'm pretty sure pumice stone is... Yeah, I know. I said we aren't going to do this while we're talking. I know. But anyways, um, I, I already know some of what Amy said. Yeah, so but the the limestone just... is so limestone can erode easily, okay. and so groundwater that comes through that's where you get a lot of caves and caverns, mm-hmm. karsts, all these different things that are underground. But once that structure gets to a point where it's really cavernous, mm-hmm. and then you can also have where the water level drops, and when the water level drops, that's often when you have one of those bigger, like one of those sinkholes that comes yeah. through. But that's when, you know, you don't have anything supporting, uh-huh. and it falls through. Okay. So I try to look up. Okay, what are some things about limestone? Because stones and minerals mm-hmm. have, and crystals have different. Well, minerals are crystals, uh, so their formations, but you have. Um, different things that are associated with them. So limestone does have stability as a quality that is associated with it. Mm. White limestone specifically from what I was looking up. And I sent Amy the link of where I had had found some information. So maybe if you're super connected, Mm -hmm. there's a little bit of that um, 
or you're, you know, like really in tune to those sorts of things are very sensitive that you might potentially feel that imbalance. So okay. nothing else that I found could find that. Yeah, that's weird. Yep. So, yep. Pumice uh, is a volcanic rock. Right. So Ding, ding, ding. Yay, yeah. Amy! There's lots of different, different ones, but yeah, with this one is going to be something with, it says high water content and gases. That's why you get all the little bubbles and everything bubbles, in it. Yeah. So. What's fun about volcanoes, uh, everything that... Volcanoes are really cool, but yeah. terrifying. Anything that... Terrifying. Any rocks that are cooling above ground, they're going to cool quickly, so you're going to have small crystals, mm -hmm. and then anything like basalt, and anything that cools underground, you're going to have larger crystals that grow in it, so the mm -hmm. separation of the minerals, because they have different cooling temperatures. Mm -hmm. and that's that's your like, science lesson yeah. for this week. Everyone's welcome for that. <laughs> <laughs> There'll okay. be a quiz later. There will be. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, and then also in the reveal, never mentioned before, um, Jennifer says, oh, yeah, I had a dream that Paige stabbed me. I know. Yeah. Where the fuck did that come from? And it also looked like, the at least the way that they showed it, like, Paige was like, what? Right. <laughs> I think Paige is over her mother's shit. I think she is, too. Like, you know what? So much. It's like, it's like Amy said something, and then Jennifer was like, oh, yeah, I have this story that relates to it. <laughs> That I just forgot that to I tell you. That I just remembered Even happened. super, super pertinent. I and then she goes, I had a dream that Paige stabbed us. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean well, me. Well, just me. Yep. Really, Jennifer? I think everything's about you. Anyway. Oh, and I noted that I think Paige looks like uh, Case too. Kristen Stewart. Oh, yeah. I oh, can see that. she does. She even has a personality of it. A little bit. She's quiet and, yeah. But oh. she... she truthfully seemed like a very like cool person yeah, that I was like for sure. I feel like we'd get along right yeah. like I feel like we'd be uh, friends yeah. yeah but going back to some of the reveal with like the stabbing and mm -hmm. everything and like her talking about Jennifer talking about the gray man which we didn't really talk about until no. Amy until Steve was like well tell, tell Amy about the gray man is that the fish or the, the, the frog, the frog thing, thing. Okay. yeah that was a cool but picture, she goes, I have to say if it's going to kill me it's going to have to do it the, the bloody, bloody hard, hard way, way. I, I'm like, I what does that even mean if it's going to kill me it's going to have to do it the bloody hard way well and I'm Are like British I'm like so that means that it's going to make you kill yourself is that what yeah. you're asking it to do because that's what it's going to happen Mm -hmm. And if you say that, then that's yeah. You just biting it. it. I yeah. mean, the thing is going challenge accepted, right? Yeah. Well, now, okay. Or as the kids would say nowadays, bet. Oh, is that what you say instead of challenge accepted? Yeah, that's oh, what that they like, say on the TikTok. Is that like you bet? Yeah, you like bet. bet. Got it. Yeah, that's what the TikTok says. I don't think I can get it. away with that. Um, no. Oh God. I just had a thought too because we didn't find out. Do we find out how old Jennifer is? She's Oh, Jennifer. No. She says her husband is 47. Right. So if her daughter's 30, and let's say she's about the same age, potentially high school yeah. child, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it, I wonder if potentially Paige's dad passed away young? Maybe. Or I, he might still be alive. Still I, be alive. We or have no idea. Were, or you know, but the they... fact that she was so close with his his exactly. Mom and dad yes. Tells me that he is not just pieced out somewhere. That he is. He's passed. Well, it could be. I mean, if they were young kids, like let's say yep. high school sweethearts, they got knocked up, you know. And Jennifer, for whatever reason, maybe didn't want to raise her, and so he and his grandparents yeah. watched her. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of scenarios, but it, is. But it seems yeah, like there's... if he was still alive, he'd be in the picture. Yeah. Yep. Maybe, or maybe so. he just didn't want to be around the show. Yeah. But, yeah, but the fact that like he he's not brought up by name yeah, and he and yeah. Jennifer doesn't even like note their relationship. She mm -hmm. says she says Paige is from another relationship. Yeah, yeah Paige is Paige is yeah Paige my daughter from a previous relationship, and then she says Paige's grandparents. Yeah, which then makes you feel like they're distant. Yeah, like mm -hmm. she's distant to them. That's why I but think then, Jennifer's not been in this story for the whole time. I literally uh, have here. Um, did she come back into Paige's life most post Kathy and David? Yes, I believe so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I think. I think they died. So that makes me and think she that said, I'm moving back. I'm moving in with my daughter because then I have a free house because right. she owns it now. And mm -hmm. maybe yeah. she didn't get along with Kathy and David, and that's why she wasn't. But allowed. she says that she did. Yeah, but then Paige kind of rolled her eyes. About yeah, her. I know. I, I, I don't want to like not trust or believe somebody, and and that's where I'm struggling because I'm just I just don't know. I don't. Maybe I, you know, maybe some of it did happen. 
Mm-hmm. But she's maybe embellishing it more or making a little bit up for the cameras. Because Paige did seem affected. Like, yes. Paige has had experiences. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm and not so, saying that things right, are not happening right. in that But house. it makes me think that Jennifer might be embellishing what's happening to her a little bit. Like, the scratch that she had, I'm sorry, I didn't see anything. I saw a little line. So that but, makes me wonder, then, did Jennifer just want to be the maybe. haunted one? Oh, maybe she's the one that grabbed the gremlin. Because, because it, it, it was in the main bedroom that Amy was getting that, but it feels... And I feel like, and I only watched it once, but it was today. I feel like... <laughs> Recent memory, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer almost acted like the main bedroom was hers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It because was. But I, it wasn't. But it wasn't, but I feel yeah. like, because when they interviewed, I thought they were in the main bedroom. And Steve said, this is your bedroom. And she said, yes. Yep. She had like the dark blue. Yeah, the two. Blanket. And it made yep. me think that if for a split second, because of the way the line was, I thought it was two beds. Oh. But then I just realized it was a, just a really pretty bedspread. Mm-hmm. But that, and then when Amy was in that room later, she called it the main bedroom and they said, that's Paige's. So yep. I almost like. Jennifer yeah, the was main bedroom was, was pretty big. Yeah. I don't know. I just, yeah. I don't yeah, know. It was real big because I remember. Paige standing there talking to Steve, and she was like, and over there, and it was like, you know, maybe a 10 feet away. And, and the poor girl, she didn't want to, she didn't want to grab Steve's arm. She no, did I know. I wouldn't want to either. It, That's why, it, like, when he does that, show me how hard. And she, and then he's like, oh, so it wasn't very hard. Yeah, it wasn't very hard. And she's, she's like, well, I know. I and, and, well, and you see her, like, being like, like, really uncomfortable. I'm not, I'm not comfortable with this, yeah. exactly. And, and I don't think, you know, like, I think he's just like, well, I just want to know. Yeah. You know, what is it Very that you're physical, feeling right? or that, that physicality of it? And, and not in a bad way. That's just how no. he is. Yeah. That's just yeah. how yeah. he... Well, that's the best stuff. way to know right. how hard something yeah. was is do, do it on my arm and yeah. I don't, don't know. Yeah. Push me. How hard? Oh, that's yeah. hard. Oh. That well, was like, really that, hard. That, that, was that last week when he had the old man no, um, was sitting a, at the table with him? And knocked. He said... Oh, that was a couple weeks ago. Yeah, he yeah. Right, two weeks Oh, ago. that's hard. Oh, that was Anna. No, not Annie's because that was her husband. No. I think that was Annie's. Wasn't it? Wasn't that her her dad? No, because he passed away. Her dad had passed oh, away. That's right. I think it was the first episode. Was it really that far back? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. I have no concept. Of yeah, that. because the yeah, because it was Annie, and then it was Lisa, and then this one. Yep. So it had to have been the first one. Um, okay. So anything else we want to talk about? Um, if we want to keep going just on the gremlin, gray man, frog, frog man, frog man. <laughs> I thought it was really interesting when Amy's like, oh yeah, just, just bring in, I can't remember who she said to bring in, but he's, he's sensitive. because sensitive. he's terrified. It's terrified of being obliterated. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't want to not exist. exist. Mm-hmm. And it, it sounds like because it was potentially human at one point, mm-hmm. it's like, Maybe wasn't right with their belief of whatever mm-hmm. god it was, or did or some... maybe it was an atheist in real life, or when it was alive and now. It's... Yeah, just something like so, yeah. that, and just doesn't you know is is obviously just scared of what's going on, and so and doesn't want to not exist anymore. But if I latch on to you, mm-hmm. then you'll take me along for the ride, and whatever is going to happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe if you be nice, people won't want to obliterate you. I yeah. mean, I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah. <laughs> Put that on a pillow. <laughs> just be nice. Don't get obliterated. <laughs> okay, that'll be my next graphic for the video. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> every time you say make it on a pillow, I do that. <laughs> I can badly get the thing on a pillow and put it in the video. Perfect. Okay. Uh, Master Sin call Amy. What? Oh, oh, at the reveal. After she's, when Amy's telling her things about all of them, and she goes through the whole... You know, litany of all the shit that's going on. And she goes, well, now it gets weird. Now it gets weird. And I'm I like, know, I was like, oh, and that's, that? <laughs> so what, everything else is normal? And this is when it gets weird. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, I think all the history stuff was fascinating. Um, we got to talk about the voting issue. Yes. I don't want to. I know. I know. It's really it's sad. This what, it, well, what makes it even, like, worse, because it's already horrific, is that the main person that we're talking about who gets destroyed mm-hmm. wasn't even th- this person who supposedly did a wrong, which wasn't a wrong. Like, right. mm-hmm. he just happened 
to be, it, it, it's such crap to just say wrong place, wrong time, but it's like, yeah. he was, I read through a little bit of an article, like he was an upstanding man, mm-hmm. he was somebody that was, he was a, a, man. He yeah. was a leader of the community, the, which is probably general. why he was targeted. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and for anybody who hasn't watched it, just a little tiny recap. Um, what what we're talking about is this I can't um, read that. this guy that went to Disgusting. vote. Oh, okay. Black yeah. man went to vote. This was 1920. Moses Norman, yeah. November 2nd of 1920. Mm-hmm. And and he was turned away. Because he, they didn't think he had the right the to right vote. The right qualifications or whatever. And, or eligibility. Yeah. And so he, he went home white. and a mob came over to his uh, An to armed his house. posse that had been deputized yes. and was yeah. KKK. Yeah. I think so. They were KKK, well, they were, they were. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And so they went to his friend's house. His friend's name was July Perry. Perry. Mm-hmm. Yep. Julius was his. And he didn't have. Oh, that makes sense. His meaning. Anything to do with him. No, he was just his friend. Mm-hmm. But they, re- they grabbed him, put him in jail. And then they came back to the jail. Overpowered the, the jail, jailer. Took the keys. Took him. Dragged him behind a car, strung him up, strung him up, lynched him, lynched him, and then shot him full of bullets. Full of holes. Mm-hmm. His body. And uh, the chief curator of the museum that they were talking through mm-hmm. was uh, Pamela Schwartz. Yeah. By the way, she w- looked very beautiful in mm-hmm. that light blue color. Yes. And she had really cool earrings. Yes. And just like listening as yep. she was talking through this. I'm sure there was so much more information that she provided, but yeah. obviously... Because it doesn't get talked about later on. They're just going super right. yeah. high, high level, lit, high level yeah. which we have a link and that we'll put it, that Ada yeah. put in the yeah. show notes from uh, University of Central Florida. Yeah. The best part is that none of them really faced any consequences. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, God, no. And by best, she means worse. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. They, I yeah, mean, best none in of them, a horrible way. Yeah, none of them paid any, any price, price for murdering for this man. killing a man. And it started the, say the name of the town again? Oh, uh, oh uh, Akosi. A- Akoi. 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 Sorry um, for anybody else. Akoi Massacre. Yeah. Which then turned into this big giant riot. Yep. And the newspaper said eight people were killed. And um, they confirmed what, uh, four. Her name, just Pamela Schwartz. Pamela Schwartz said it was probably more like 30. 30 to 40. Yeah. 30 to 50. But they, she said we'll never know. And never that was know. by design. Yep. yep. And only. Four for sure were confirmed to have died. Mm-hmm. July, Perry, and three others. Mm-hmm. They had originally thought that Moses Norman, who was the man who went to go vote, mm-hmm. had been killed. But records later showed and DNA evidence showed that he survived yes. and moved up the coast. Georgia, yeah. I want to say. Oh, I thought I was saying New, no, like it was New, New York. York. It was New okay. York. Okay. No, I was like, York. I thought it was New York. Yeah, but, yeah. I don't think I was um, talking but Yeah, he went to, he went to And York. so there's, there's no full records of who, he, of who mm-hmm. died. Um, by design. It, by design. Mm-hmm. However, it did get the attention of the FBI and everything to look into voter fraud investigations. Yes, yes, does yes. this sound familiar yes, to anybody? Yes, it, yes, it sure um, does. But it had nothing to do about the rioters, the mob mm-hmm. of KKK well, I mean, and the murders. They, he was a black person. Do they? Nobody cares no, about didn't them. Care. They didn't care. So did you, um, I asked Megan, she said no. Did you um, stop and zoom in on that letter? I did not because I was, uh, it was late last night, but I, I one of, at one part, she read a part that said, basically, stop educating black people. Yes. 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 Yeah, it was a letter from the KKK, KKK to Moses. To, no, it was to, um, John, to Jonathan, the John uh, Cheney, who was Judge oh, John Cheney. Oh, 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 okay. And other white politicians mm-hmm. saying, you need to stop educating black people. And you're perpetuating all this horrible mm-hmm. stuff by educating by, black people. By telling the black people, educating them about e- this concept of equality. Yeah, and, the, and, and you're not supposed to let them vote. And you're not supposed to let them vote. They're not supposed to be equal. No. But the scary there part was, is that that is literally still happening. That is still literally happening. still happening yep. right now. Yep. yep. There's still KKK out there. Yeah. Proud of it now. Oh, yeah. Because they're all in Proud boys. Right? Proud like Boys. Menace, That's so their fucking they name. They, been, they, they march with their little Tahiti fucking sticks. <laughs> tiki, torches tiki torches. That they buy from Target. Yeah. Well, and I mean, speaking of that name, now like parents with kids who are proud of their kids or, you know, the kids who are proud of their teens. Like, like they can't 
use those terms because those guys ruined it. Well, they ruin everything. I mean, uh, yeah, I just I wrote down the word disgusting as we were going through this because Steve was search, searching through the archives, not yeah. digging, searching, searching through the archives, searching through the archives. Uh, we we stopped it and then had to go back to it and be like, okay, what? Um, just so I could process everything that was going on. And of course, I'm not I'm not about... dumb that this didn't no. happen, but yeah. You want to talk about a brutal murder? That's a brutal murder. Yeah. That yeah. dragged behind a car. Granted, it was 1920, so I mean the car's not going 60 miles an hour, but no, still but... dragged behind a car at any but, 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 time. Yeah. There was, I mean, people got dragged behind horses, and yeah. well, horses could go off after the car. I mean, come on, like mm-hmm. maybe. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah, it's maddening. It's horrible. It's maddening. It's disgusting. And it's the worst part is, it's it's... still happening. I know. It's still 2023. A hundred years ago, this happened, and nothing's changed. Well, learned by now. well we don't. Well, and then I thought it was so funny so how in the letter he's like, "History repeats itself." Yeah. And I wanted to be like, "History's never stopped." Yeah. You guys keep growing. It's just a cycle. It's just a cycle. It's always a cycle. It, it does repeat itself. Right. But it's it's yeah. This time it's, it's just stuff. it's a straight line. It hasn't even stopped. It's fine. I'm fine. It's fine. We're all fine. We're fine. This is the stuff that should be taught. In- history yeah, absolutely that's... god if it was i might have been interested the stuff we learned about in history was I, fucking boring and i fell asleep the whole time i will yeah i will say i had a, at least a couple of teachers in high school and stuff that taught us a little more than what was in the books that's good and that's nice. more more so related to native american and indigenous rather than uh black history but mm-hmm. at least about at least it was something um, yeah. that we learned a little bit of the whitewashing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just learned this year that the global map is whitewashed. It's not right. Oh, yeah. I didn't well, know that I until did, this I year. I did learn in school. <laughs> I didn't Back know in the that. 70s. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I saw on a TikTok that um, they were talking about how the map isn't accurate, and I was like, what the fuck does that mean? Yeah, it's not right. No, it made us bigger than Yeah, it made all the white countries bigger. Yeah. Hi friends, Amy here. I just wanted to share with you some promo reels from some really amazing podcasts in our Boopod network. Please give them a listen. Hi, I'm Marty. And I'm Effie. And we are the Mums, Mysteries and Murder podcast. Each month we take turns bringing you mysteries and true crime stories from our respective homelands, Australia and Scotland. But be warned, there's no shrimps on the barbie or... We oui, Jimmy's <laughs> excellent accent, Marty. No one has shrimps on the Barbie in Australia. It's prawns, and oh. they don't even have prawns on the Barbie. Oh, anyway, disappointed. You can find us on Apple or Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts, and join us over on Mums, Mysteries, and Murder on Instagram. It's not big or clever, but it is entertaining. Skylark Bell, an award-winning serial fiction podcast by Melissa Oliveri, now in its third season. Follow Magpie and Lucas from small-town America to a remote Scottish island as they attempt to solve the mystery of the mythical Skylark Bell. This podcast is for lovers of ghost stories, time travel, Celtic lore, the unexplained, and the supernatural. Find The Skylark Bell on your preferred podcast platform and at theskylarkbell.com. This world's fucked. This world is so fucked. But it's also really fun to know, like... That what is it? New York? No, Maine is closer to France than Florida is. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Because of the where everything actually yeah. lays. Mm-hmm. Like we think it lays like straight We're across, huge. yeah, and but it's mm-hmm. the angles. Hmm. 
learn. Let's go to you France guys are when learning. We made. You guys are learning so much today. Do you remember when we went to see Jenny and she said she thought that what we were going to do, she didn't know we were going to bring Amy in on it, or maybe she did and didn't say anything. You probably did. Um, <laughs> she said what she saw us doing is is teaching people, is helping people learn things and mm-hmm. educating people. And I was like, what do we know? What can we teach anybody? Turns out the a best things you can teach people are things you're learning yourself, as you probably know, because mm-hmm. yeah. I was a teacher too. And I learned so much being a teacher because I mm-hmm. had to go and research stuff before mm-hmm. I could teach it to someone else. Exactly. I had to teach. I have a degree in biology, which was ages ago, but I had to teach myself earth science in order to teach earth science yeah. because what I mainly taught was earth science. Mm-hmm. So I am that geek that loves rocks and minerals <laughs> and <laughs> geologic time and the weather. And when I ask people about what the weather is, I'm actually thoroughly interested and not just making small time. Then you <laughs> might love the Hallmark movie about love in the forecast because it's about, I never finished it and I'm so sad. It's about, <laughs> it must have been really good. Really good I was gonna, I, good. I started it when I was it. crafting and it was like <laughs> 1130 and there was like 20 minutes left and I'm like, I'm gonna finish this another time I have to go to bed and then Hallmark took it off. <gasps> I don't have any homework channels anymore. That's why you just DVR'd them. Okay. Well, I don't have DVR. Yeah, but it the was, homework things you do. It you was have a homework so channel you do. It was about this. It was about this. Um. Oh my god. Okay. So it was about this girl who's a weather person. You only gonna hear I'm about also, the first half because she didn't see the. I'm also <laughs> super skeptical. For the record, we know how it ends. Okay. <laughs> but then they finally this, kiss. That is fair. We have it the scientific homework. weather girl. Who like is shooting for the promotion and she relies on all these instruments and like science and the science tells us that it's gonna rain and blah blah blah. And then she meets this like really down to earth guy who's like, Well, the geese are flying in the V formation and that means it's gonna rain three do, inches. Do you know why one side of the V is always longer than the other? Right. One of them's leading, right? One of them's like steering. He's the head of it, right? Just because there's more geese on the other side. Oh. <laughs> Back to Homer. Well, I suppose you can't just have nobody in the corner. Yeah, there. Nobody puts baby actually, in the there's corner. Actually, there's a lot of really interesting things we can learn from geese, but we'll finish the hallmark. Thank you. First. We'll turn to geese next. So, yeah, so she's, like, slowly falling in love with him, because, obviously. Because he's, like, I know. Was it, like, over two days, too? Probably. It was, no, it, was a, it was a long time. It was a long time for a hallmark movie. It wasn't, like, an hour. It wasn't, like, a twilight, but... Um, <laughs> So they, like, he's slowly, like, teaching her that you don't always have to rely on your instruments. Like, sometimes nature can tell you. And, like, oh, my God, the funniest one is if you, I don't know how they do this, but you have to listen to a cricket chirp. Mm-hmm. And, oh, I've heard that. It's yeah. the speed of the chirp. I, yeah. I listened to an episode of Criminal about that. Yeah. I and I'm like, who has time to sit and listen to a cricket Super chirp? But um, it was so cute. Mm-hmm. And then they took it off and I can't find it. <laughs> It's adorable. Anyways, that's what made me think of it. Again, I hope so, because I don't know how it ends. <laughs> if you do. Cliffhanger. <laughs> do they kiss? There was no. actually a murder. <laughs> <laughs> like, when I was watching, I started watching Hallmark movies, you know, and then... I like a couple of years ago. Uh, murder. Yeah. Movies and mysteries. Well, I was watching mm-hmm. just the Christmas ones. Mm-hmm. That's because I thought... Right, right, right. Because you and, you and Melissa, Melissa were doing it. Yeah. Yep. Cozy Land. Great Land podcast. podcast. With me and Melissa. It's so good. And, um... It's so heartwarming. Thank you. We have not done an episode. I know you haven't. I've been waiting. Our, our time travel episode's going to be next. And now I've watched another movie about time travel, and i got to talk to her about that. Anyway. Um, but, no, I was watching... I was watching the Christmas ones, and I've been mm-hmm. doing them for a couple of years. Mm-hmm. And then I downloaded the, I got the Hallmark app instead of the Friendly app. Mm-hmm. So it had the much Murders better. and Mysteries and all that stuff. Much better. Yeah, it's great. It's got all mm-hmm. much better. And one of them had Allison Sweeney in it. And you it was love a, her. I love her. It was a Christmas one. Yeah. Sammy on Days of Our Lives. And so I started watching it, and I'm like, oh, it's a Christmas thing. And she works at a little bakery shop, and she's da 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 and she's going to the, the Christmas tree um farm to pick out her Christmas tree. Mm-hmm. Blah, blah. There's a murder. Like two days before Christmas. Too. Yeah. Yep. And of course, there there's a... all these beautiful trees yeah. still there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're probably yeah, in fake snow. But oh, anyway, I was like, there's on a their murder. Boots. I'm like, a murder? What the? And then I realized it was <laughs> a murder. A murder? A murder. Yeah, We're so. picking up Christmas trees. 
I was like, wait a minute. I didn't know Hallmark was it with a chainsaw it. or an axe. Uh, Neither. That's no, way too violent for them. Poison cookies. Or yeah. Something. I don't yeah. remember. Well, then it was a woman. Yeah. Poison exactly. cookie. Yeah. It, I think it was a woman. No. Yeah. Spoiler but, alert. <laughs> um, Allison Sweeney was in a Hallmark movie with um, a guy from Buffy. I oh, forget yeah? his name. He played her love interest, Riley. Oh. Was it Spike? No, but I love Spike. Spike was cute. But you know what? Upon looking back, he was awful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He essayed her. Yeah. You could say the words. You're not on TikTok. I know, but I don't want to. I'm like, God damn it, Spike. Mm-hmm. Why? And like, I love him. it was the 90s. Oh, God. We didn't know. Do you, you are too young to remember, those of you who are old like I'm me, old. General Hospital. Mm-hmm. Back in the 80s. Okay. Oh, that was before me. Mm-mm. It was before you were born. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a couple. That Luke and Laura. Luke and Laura. I remember Luke and Laura. Do you know that he raped her? That's how they met. He raped her. Yeah, that's how they met. The dogs are howling. Yeah. He was a total skeety. And they were together for like years. forty years until he died. The actor, not the character. I think he broke her. Because <laughs> I remember everybody going, oh, look at Laura, look at Laura. I'm like, he fucking raped her. What are you people talking about? Now mm-hmm. I'm. Yeah. Well, she was, was like it... 14, too. What was the. She was a tiny young girl when what? that happened. Was it you Awful. guys that, or did I read this somewhere else that was. No, I think I saw it on a reel or something that talked about like. Which is when... Instagram, TikTok. Yeah. It, uh, just different. Yeah, because I don't have the app for TikTok. I just. Do with the, what old people do and look on Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> um, but there was something that said, like, if you put the Danny DeVito in the character's role and he, is it creepy, then the character is a creep. <gasps> so, like, oh. they did, they said it for, like, um, uh, oh, Fifty Shades. For Fifty He's Shades. But that's why. <laughs> it's, like, no. for, like, Fifty Shades of Grey. If you oh. put... If you put Danny DeVito yeah. in whatever his... Christian Grey. Yeah. I never read the books, never watched any of the movies, but if you put him in that role... Didn't miss anything. Is, no. is he a creep then? Yes. yes. Then the character is a creep. Yeah. And I was like... My but mind it, was blown at yes. that because I'm like, that is so but real. Like, Danny. Well, I heard somebody say once that it's only stalking if you're not interested in the guy. No. So it's kind of the uh, same sort of thing where... No. You want a guy to, you know, like Edward watching her when this. she sleeps in Twilight. Like, yeah. come the fuck out, Edward. You're See? fucking creepy. And that's what I mean. But I love it. But she liked it, so it was okay. So it was okay. If she was Danny DeVito. That was the first okay. night I dreamt about Edward Cullen. I'm sorry. Oh, Edward. so never watched any of the Twilight or read any of the books? I, I read the first book and I saw the first movie, but only with Riff Tracks, and it was hilarious. Here's the thing I tried reading the second book. They're just terrible They're books. Terrible. I will say Stephanie Meyer wrote another book, the first book, but from a diff- so like oh yeah, you were saying this. Bella's the ball. Bella's the vampire, and Bo's the boy, and it was it was good. It had a totally different ending. I won't spoil it so you guys can read it, yeah. but it was really Thank good. You. It's out of my. Face I know. It's table. <laughs> I know. I know. You're you're on the wait list from the e library. <laughs> Wait, there's a wait list for that book? Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Probably. I forget what it's called, but lots of people like terrible books. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, books are an escape. They're a way to, like, I have not read some have terrible books that I've loved, so I really should not. I mean, throw there's books. there's variations of terrible. There are books. Mm-hmm. I, I can think of two books, I think, in my lifetime, other than assigned reading, because if you assign me a book, I'm not going to read it. Yeah, or I'm enjoy going, it. I'm going to yeah. skim it, Yeah. and I am going to fake my way through it. And somehow still would do really well because no one else talks in class. Um, (laughs) Hey, college. That's what I did. Uh, No, but my brother's ex-girlfriend bought me this book. The one we don't like? Yep. Oh, I hate her. Yep. She's awful. But anyways. I hate her too. I have no idea. (laughs) I've never met her. but I'll tell you you stories offline. Okay. I'll tell you guys later. (laughs) No, oh, it was this book, and it had a, like, decent concept to it. I got less than 50 pages in it, and I was like, this is trash. Mm-hmm. And she bought it because she met the author at, mm-hmm. like, some, like, farmer's market or something. And I'm like, oh, so you got guilted into buying yeah, it. Yeah. And it was just, like, it had a really good, like, plot line or, like, mm-hmm. idea. But it was, like, Amy walked through the door. Then Megan walked through the door. <laughs> and then a dog walked through the door. 
And then she saw him out of the corner of her eye. Like he was paid, or like the author was paid by the word. Oh my yeah. lord. It was just. What was the book? Tall. Maybe it was Fifty Shades of Grey where every other line someone's murmuring. Yeah, that was Fifty Shades. She murmured. And she, she murmured. Was mercurial. She, he mercurial. murmured into her ear. She yeah. murmured. They murmured. Yeah. Did she they have a heart murmur? murmur? There was a lot like, of murmur. There was a lot of murmur. Probably get that checked. <laughs> that looks and, bad. like, yeah. the idea, the thing that ticks me off about Fifty Shades of Grey is, like, I read it. I'm ashamed. I read the first one. But I, I didn't buy it. I downloaded the PDF, and I sat there on my Kindle going like this. Right. Skipping through. Because <laughs> you couldn't, like, shrink it to the page. Oh, no. So you're like... Oh, yeah, I would have given up right there. But like, it's I, like I, I a whole, right like all about kind of dominant and submissive, and you know. But the thing is that I feel like they put not that I know a lot about it, but she was like coerced into it. Yeah, yeah. And that's not that shouldn't be how it is. Right. But because he's a sexy billionaire, it's right. okay. Yeah. But if he was Danny DeVito, he wouldn't have. It exactly. wouldn't have been back to Danny. DeVito. Or if he Danny been DeVito, an ugly guy. I love you absolutely, yes. and I have read some of the things like what he like um, Matilda, <gasps> the little girl in yes. Matilda, because when her was it her mom was her sick, mom, yeah. he took care of her and like yep. took care of the family yep. and did Aww. everything. And, and like, I think he brought her to see her mom because yeah. she was in the she died, like, she passed away. But, yeah, like Danny DeVito basically mm, was like her godfather. Da- yeah, oh, it was, he's so sweet. He's yes. a sweet man. He oh, is. yeah. And he's friends but, with and, Judge Clooney. And, and that's and why... And they drink limoncello together. And that's and why, why it's one of those, is. like, if you put if you put that wonderful person right. into that category... And is it creepy? Is it creepy? Is that a bad person? Yes, it is. I yeah. was devastated. Think but that's, that's I was why so sad, fantasy. though, when I, like, rewatched Buffy and I saw that scene and I was like, <gasps> Spike! Mm-hmm. And then they, they end up together. Well, I mean, he is sad. Spoiler but, alert. I don't know. I know it ended fucking Jeez, 20 years ago, but sorry. <laughs> Terrible series finale, by the way. Oh, no. We can't all be lost. Just kidding. Or Game of Thrones. I will say I did love Don't the series that. finale of Roseanne, the original. Oh, right, right. We talked about that on one of our episodes. So, one of the things I'm doing when I'm going through these old episodes is I'm, ta- I'm like making tags of everything so that I can say, like, this is the time Megan mentioned watching the Connors. Mm-hmm. This is the time we talked about the drawing room, which we talked about yes. last time. Yes. And we were like, I never knew where the drawing room went. Well, guess what? <laughs> 62 <laughs> episodes we did. Um, it's because people would withdraw to it, <laughs> right. in case you were wondering. Right. But it's anyway. not where they would draw. No. It's and withdraw. I thought it was drawing curtains. Right. No, nope. <laughs> it was because they the women would withdraw there after dinner. So the men could be Yeah, because the together. Yeah, men were pain in the asses and they, they just had to get smoke. away. They had They're to go, go and smoke their stogies. Because nothing has changed. Men yeah. are still pain in the asses. I love them. Mm-hmm. They're the best. I love men. All right. I guess we've been doing this long enough. Oh, my God. This was off the rails. I know. I hope but it was I love fun it. for you guys. I it was hope fun for us. It was fun. Listen, we had a good time. You know, thanks to Snoop Dogg, Amy, for bringing Snoop yep. Dogg. And, uh... Oh, wow, 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 yippee, no, yippee, yay. <laughs> so I'll see if I can figure out a way to that that's video Dogg. that and put it in somehow. But anyway, <laughs> thanks for joining us, you guys. Thanks, everybody. We love and you. we'll see you next time. And um, if Paige would like to come on and be interviewed, that would be great. We would Paige, love, we'd love we to talk to Paige, we support you. Yep. We believe you. We do. We believe you. We yep. support you. All right. All right. Bye. 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 All right. What? Did it not really record? <laughs> Are you shitting me? Shitting me. Oh, no. It's uploaded. <laughs> no. <laughs> Amy. We have this. We have this. Thank God. Thank you for listening to the Activity Continues podcast. We really appreciate you giving us your ears for a bit. Please reach out if you have a suggestion for which episode of The Dead Files we should cover next, or if you have a spooky story you'd like us to share on the show. We can be reached at theactivitycontinues at gmail.com or through our website or any of our socials. Links are all in the description of the show. 
please feel free to drop us a note and say hi. And join us next time when the activity continues. The Activity Continues is produced by me, Amy, at Collected Sounds Media, and is part of the independent Collected Sounds Podcast Network. We are also proud members of the Boo Pod Network of super cool podcasts. Nailed it. Hi, friends. Do us and yourselves a favor and check out our affiliate, Three Spirit Drinks. They create plant-based, non-alcoholic elixirs that are cruelty-free and vegan, and they are designed to give you some of the benefits of alcohol without the hangover and other side effects. If you're looking to cut down on alcohol but still want the buzz, check them out. The link is us.com threespiritdrinks.com and use the promo code THEACTIVITYCONTINUES for 15% off your entire order.